management information system is one very critical. And that is the one which actually led us to, to, to do the whole plan. So that is in plan. We haven't really done for the whole county. To, uh, the, the hospitals are not talking to each other, but hospitals themselves, Coast General, Portrees, actually have systems already. But that is in the pipeline. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Uh, uh, Governor, you could respond if there was anything else that you wanted to cover. It might address any other lingering question that members might have. Yeah, okay. She mentioned, obviously, on the integrated. We feel the need of also being able to keep track of, uh, of our people, of their patients and the diseases that we've had to deal with because it informs us on the next investment plan on, on what needs to be, to be procured, for example. But to answer to this specific question uh, on, on, on um, our people having to travel outside the country for treatment, Mr. Chairman, let me say this. It is not only equipment that is required. We also need specialized training. And that is why, as Mombasa County, as we sit here today, we have 42 of our doctors out there being trained or specializing on different areas of, of, of treatment. But the point that I, I, I want to say that as a county, we needed or we want to continue to develop the infrastructure and the human resource capacity. And then the interesting conversation would check in on the kind of equipment that we would need. And therefore, I go back to my point, whereas the national government can not in any way be aware of our plans without consulting with us. It is impossible. And to avoid, like I said, which is a good thing, we have today probably the largest ICU facility outside uh, Kenyatta Hospital, by default. We had our own plan. National government came without consulting us with their own plan, which is a good thing in a way because we, we are offering that facility. But to avoid duplication and white elephant projects, for example, I know there are certain counties, I mean not Dini, uh, there are certain counties who we have had to refer their patients to Mombasa Hospital, and yet they have similar equipment that we do, simply because they don't have the human resource capacity to manage the equipment. That is why we have to have an integrated plan that covers human resource, uh, infrastructure, equipment that is responsive to the current demand. So we commit. We have already said, in fact, they said level uh, five sub county, it's actually six sub county hospitals. In Likoni, because of the vastness of the area, we've had to build two. And therefore, we are ready to go, but we're saying the deal on MES, if it continues in this manner, it's a road deal, and for me, it needs to, to change on how we look at it. And the final one, on, uh, and, uh, and I think that would be the final one, yeah. with due respect to all of us and to the governor and to the other session. Let, uh, let me just you, repeat you, my question. No, I, I think the governor got it. He asked about the dispute, dispute resolution and the contractual issues. Well, first of all, uh, uh, Senator Kina, we have not seen... I have not seen, did we see, uh, Shikeli, we have not seen the agreement between the supplier and the, the, the I'm told it's shared, I haven't seen it, but I'm informed it's been shared to COG, which I'm going to look at it, and I'm, I'm interested to look at how we can resolve some, some of the issues that I, I think have, have, have come up over the period. This meeting has to be adjourned until 11.30. I'll, I'll do something unconventional. Members of the Fourth Estate, if you have any question on this particular matter, I will give you 30 seconds to think and ask. If not, then we can deal with the issues outside this, uh, this all. We are, we, are, we are good? Sour, sour. So, uh, Governor, can we agree that by 11.30, hopefully? Fine. Uh, uh, thank you. Uh, members, uh, we can take uh, that short break for the health debate. And sorry, Professor, for so, cutting While the governor has gone away, can you think about the cost implication of universal health care and the percentage? Yes.
right right there